Before we get started to go out in the field and look for plants and before we learn about how to propagate individual plants by the five different propagation methods, there's a really useful tool uh, in gardening that uh, some, some people may know about but I, it took me many years of gardening before I actually learned this rule. The rule can be called root shoot ratio and as you can imagine it refers to the roots of the plants down below and the shoots which are the leaves and the stalks and the stems up above ground. And what this rule says is that plants always aim to maintain a balance between the roots below ground and the shoots above ground. We don't necessarily need to understand the exact balance. It's not necessarily for every pound of roots there's one pound of shoots or for every meter of roots there's one meter of shoots. Some plants do grow with some obvious ratios but it doesn't necessarily matter what the balance is just that we understand that plants always want to keep a balance between the roots and the shoots. So what does this mean? First, the first side of this is imagine you're cutting your lawn or imagine a cow or a goat eating a part of a tree or some grass. What happens is as the plant is pruned, cut back like that, for example when you cut your lawn, you cut the lawn, and then because the plant lost some shoots, it will naturally shed some roots. And that root material actually helps build soil, feed the soil life and, life and attract more of it, which enables better growth. So many, many plants like a pruning because the pruning above ground also means they naturally prune themselves below ground. What that might mean for us in propagation is if we have a big tuberous thing like a wild ginger or a malanga with all these wild roots, some of the leaves were taken off. So we might choose to help the plant by pruning some of the roots. So throughout the videos, whenever some plants will lose some of the leaves and the roots are quite big and unruly, you'll see me prune them. And this is in reference to the root shoot ratio. Meaning this didn't have many leaves and it had all these roots growing down. A lot of those roots might rot on their own and, and in a nursery setting might cause some mold. So it's nice to just clean it up and it can start fresh. Similarly, like the mint, uh, this has no roots. Or the basil, this has no roots. So, for example, with the basil, when we take a cutting of this, we're not going to leave all these leaves on. As you can see, the leaves are already starting to wilt. If we leave all the leaves and flowers on this plant and we fully severed it from the roots, the shoots will suffer. So because we lost the roots, we will help it by getting rid of the shoots on the cutting. So the more dramatic the disruption of the root, the fewer leaves you can leave. Again, mulberry has no roots now. This cutting will still grow. Even though there's no roots, it will grow. They will bud out at the nodes above ground and the nodes below ground will make soil. If we were to try to take a cutting that was this tall and we left all the leaves on, all of these leaves would be pulling the energy from this plant. And this is the only energy source it has right now. This is where all the nutrients are until these nodes form roots. So we help balance the root shoot ratio by taking off the majority of the leaves given the fact that it lost the majority, in this case, all of its roots. Even where there's roots, I'm looking for the piece of mint, even where there's roots, I still prune the shoots and I might prune the roots. This action helps most plants to get in their new spot and adapt really well.